Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. I'm Pilar David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a stunning staked column chart with art. So let's get started. Now, this is exactly what we want to replicate. So, without wasting our time, let's proceed to sheet 2. Now, we have the same data set of this amount based on the corresponding month. Now, the first thing I'm going to do right here is to create an upper column in column C. So, let's do that. I'm going to just name it upper column. So, for my formula, it's going to be the value in cell B2 referenced, and I press F4 key to make it absolute, and then divide by 3. Control enter, then we or fill it downwards. So next is to insert a blank staked column chart. So come to the insert tab of the ribbon in the charts group, and click on this drop down, and we have the staked column chart. So let's just expand this. Now we can actually see the chart design context on the tab. So over here under the data group, I click on the select data, and because this is blank chart, so we're actually starting from the beginning. So for my legit entries, I click on this add button. And for my series name, I'm going to select this amount. And for the series value, I'm going to select all this my sys amount values. Control shift down arrow key and I click on OK. So things are looking nice. So next for the horizontal category for the axis labels, I click on edit and I want the labels for my month, that's the month name. Okay, so I click on OK, and let's click on OK for now. So we can actually see that things are looking nice. So let's take care of all our chart grid lines. I'm going to turn them off, and of course, I don't want this. So let's even just remove the month name. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, let's just right click, and let's format data series. So let's just do some little things here. The first thing is to just in no particular order, I want to reduce the gap width. So let's make it to be 50. And I click on OK. And next, let's go ahead and choose our effect. So for the effect, I want the 3D format top bevel. And I want this um, bevel default. OK, things are looking good. Now let me just move this here so I can actually see it more clearly. So next, let's go ahead and insert me to include our upper column so come to the select data and click on add and for the series name we want the upper column and for the values we want to delete this and we want this control shift down arrow key and then i click on ok and let's click on ok for now let's close this tax pane so next let's go and grab the art shape so come to the insert tab under the illustration group Click on the shapes and we have the art under the basic shapes. So let's just have one here. So let's apply some effects. So under the shape format contextual ribbon tab, I click on this. Shape, excuse me, I want bevel. Okay, and I want the same divot. So this is looking cool. Now, I actually don't want this in color. Let me just change this color. Right click, format data series, and let's choose fill. And for the fill color, let's choose um, another color. Let's choose this light blue. I love, I love this. And for this also, let's come right in here and choose the same color it's for uniformity. So I'm going to do Control C and let's paste Control V. Amazing. So you can actually see that things are looking awesome. And I love this. So you can actually see it more clearly. Now let's go ahead and include our month name so i'm going to just select this and click on this plus sign and want the data labels now it's going to show the data labels but i don't want this data labels i actually want something else so right click and choose format format data labels and then we have the stacks being coming up again so i want to select value from cells so in this select data label range i'm going to select all these my values oh, excuse me i actually want the month name right in there i click on ok then i'm going to turn off this value so you can actually see the month name control b to make it bold let's increase the font size slightly and of course for the label position we want inside this so everything is looking fine let's increase it to 12. okay i think 14 is fine 
okay so we are getting almost done next i'm going to create another helper column in color d so i'm going to just call this one let's copy this ctrl c ctrl v f2 to make it edit mode and let's say two now for this i'm going to do almost the same thing reference divide itself c2 make it to be absolute divide by two Control enter inside those ever columns. Okay, so let's go back to our chart. Come to the chart design context. You're going to tab select data and for the legit entry script, we're going to hard and for the series name, we want ever column two and for the values, I want all these values. Okay, so I click on OK and click on OK. So we have this ready. So click on this and then let's insert. Or turn on the data labels. So we have the data labels turned on, but we do not want this upper column value. So I actually want the actual sales amount. So we we'll just right click and choose format data labels, and then we want to select value from sales. And in here, then we we'll proceed to select this actual sales amount, and I click on OK, and then I'm going to turn off this value, and then let's close this. For now okay so the next thing to do is to come to the home tab uh, i actually want all this to be um, white and i think that's looking good and um, let's come to the design chart design okay format and um, let's make all this to be white okay and the shape fill okay everything is looking fine so the next thing is to just make it to be bold Pressing Ctrl B and then you can increase the font size. Okay, so you can actually see this is a perfect looking chart. Then we can just hide all this. Let's just paint them in white. Okay, so nothing is you can actually see nothing there as much. So let's increase this and let's give a meaningful chart title. So we want um this sales okay sales report okay amazing so you can actually see that this is actually a wonderful looking chart just like what we have in here okay so i hope you've learned how to quickly do some stunning charts in excel if you do enjoy this video give some likes and share with your friends and of course remember to click on the subscribe button Thank you and bye for now.